Hey everybody, this is James with WSTrades.com. I want to provide an update on a few tickers here that I see are trending in hot stocks right now on YouTube. First here, ticker SDC. This is Smile Direct Club. Um, larger time frame charts are pretty ugly. Um, if I switch out to like the daily here, uh, it's really just been a bleed out uh, pretty much for the most part, making lower lows, lower highs. But coming into the, some of the shorter term price action here, you can see things have been looking better. Um, this thing was really in an uptrend pretty nicely. Um, you can see it ripped up, pulled back to this trend line, ripped up, back to this trend line, ripped up, almost came back to that trend line. Another move higher and then uh, selling to this trend line again, leaving a nice wick sticking out there. Um, not a lot going on here. Uh, after hours on Friday and then pre-market today, but then you can see here right at market open, another large wick sticking out here. So I think this trend line right here is going to be very key um, for this stock if this thing is going to continue to make moves higher because you can see right here as this thing started to trend up, it did have a series of higher highs here as well as higher lows. But um, after it sold back to this trend line here or almost to this trend line, and trying to make a move up here, it did not make a new high or, you know, a higher high. So, you know, you've got higher high, higher high, higher high, but then this one was a failure. So I've got this trend line up here. You could also take up and throw a trend line here to kind of see maybe, you know, what the barrier to the upside is gonna be. So if I throw this up, you know, this thing is coming into this position here where it's gonna have to make its mind up. Will it continue to respect this uptrend line here or will it continue to respect this downtrend line? You can see zooming in uh, that it went all the way up to that top trend line, that downtrend line and sold off hard and left a big wick sticking out. So that's definitely not a good sign there, the way it reacted to this downtrend line and that puts it almost down right at this uptrend line. Uh, you can see two ugly candles here um to open the day today and it's almost down at that bottom trend line so definitely a few things to keep an eye on there um what else we got going on cei so that thing is pretty popular today um let's check out the larger time frame here yeah so on the larger time frame for cei um 21 day exponential moving average is definitely a barrier. Um, you can see it made a move down here on November 29th and has not been above it since. So that's definitely a barrier to the upside if you're trading some of these larger time frames like the daily. You know, I need to see this thing get above um, that 21 day EMA. Uh, if it's not going to make a move above that, you know, I'm not really expecting it to do anything too great. You can see rejection here, uh, fell through here. Um, you can see it hit this point down here about 52 cents and left a nice wick sticking out. So, you know, maybe buyers are going to support that level right now, um, but it's almost right down at that level. Again, you can see it's about at 54 cents right now. So it made a little bit of a move up after it bounced off of this 52 cent level. But again, still has not been able to break through this 21 day exponential moving average. Definitely a dynamic resistance point right now. Let's check out the 15 minute time frame to kind of see what's going on. Kind of more of within a range on this time frame you definitely see a barrier here up around 57 cents it's rejecting it here at the start of this chart rejecting it here here made it a little bit above it here so kind of a fake out situation there and then to the downside you can kind of see around 52 cents seems to be a key level on the shorter time frame um, you've got it rejecting it here here and it's heading down that way now you can see it trading below the 21 day ema so if I had to guess here on CEI, I'm thinking this thing is probably coming down to test this 52 cent level. Um, and then we'll kind of see what happens at that price point. Um, also got XELA. Again, this one's been uh, pretty hot lately. Um, 15 minute time frame, it was kind of consolidating and then started to sell off. But you can see lately here, it made a nice break here above the 21 day EMA. Um, so let's zoom back out. Yeah, so I was really riding right around that 21 day exponential moving average, just really hugging it tightly. And now it finally today, as the market opened, made a huge pump higher. Um, so maybe this thing has kind of found a bottom down here around 61 cents um, on this 15 minute time frame. Let's check out the daily chart here. Okay, so on the daily, we do actually see that move. So pretty much since this point here, July 14th, after this insane move, it's really just been working its way lower and selling off. And you can kind of see on this time timeframe, um, 
similar to CEI, where the 21 day exponential moving average was a dynamic resistance for a long time. So this is November 5th that made a move below. Um, and then February 1st, so a couple weeks ago, it finally made a move above that, but it couldn't hold it for long. Um, so looking at this move right here from about 34 cents up to 96 cents, geez, that's like about a 200% move there. Um, and now it's retracing pretty well. So I would kind of probably look around a 30 cent uh, move here. So if we're up at 34, be looking maybe around 64 cents or so where it's pretty much at right now. Um, so let's kind of see what happens with this big move up, this 200% move up, and it's starting to pull back. You know, are we going to hit like a 50% retracement here? Uh, maybe a 62 or 63% retracement, but we definitely need to see this thing find um, a higher low. So, you know, bleeding out, bleeding out, bleeding out, pretty much just working its way lower. Let's see if this thing is going to bounce maybe around the 64 cent level or maybe a little lower around 58 cents, 59 cents, somewhere in there. But yeah, we really need to have the buyer step back into this thing pretty quickly here and start to rip this thing so we can start some kind of an uptrend. Um, let's take a look here. Also, LCID, it looks like Lucid is uh, trending again. So I made a video on this one recently. Um, this is the daily time frame I've got up here. Let me extend this trend line down to the right. So I did throw up that downtrend line because it was really respecting this. Um, this was January 12th when this big move lower started. And then I noticed that it was really um, respecting this downtrend line. So I threw that up. And I think in my last video, I was like, hey, I really need to see this thing break above this you know, downtrend line, which it did. So you can kind of see here, it touched a low here around 2561, came really close on four candles here. And then here we have two more candles. So um, this candle here from Friday, right around that, you know, 25, um, 60, 25, 70 level. Um, so it sold off right to that level. And then today we are working on a bullish engulf here. Um, so if this candle, you know, kind of finishes the way it's looking right now, that's definitely going to be a good sign after all the selling pressure Friday. Um, so to the downside, definitely key level right now is going to be around that 2560 or so. Because you can see if it falls through that level, you've got a low here. This is back in October of 2245. Um, so if this level here does not hold, I think it's going to move down all the way and test around 2245. So key level here to the downside and then to the upside here, we already broke this trend line here, which is a very good sign. But you see this 21 day EMA here is still a barrier to the upside. Um, and you can see when this thing really went on this crazy rip as well, that it was able to stay above the 21 here. Um, so definitely a good sign here breaking above this trend line. But let's see if we can go back and retest this 21 day exponential moving average. Um, you know, if this thing continues to rally, you know, this candle finishes out like it's looking today, this thing continues to pump and move back towards this 21. I'm curious what's going to happen there. And I'm also curious if that's going to be anywhere around this 3050 level. Because you can see here after this big move lower, it rallied up a bit and it hit that 3050 level and could not get above it. So it really rejected that level pretty hard. And, you know, that's really close to where the 21 day exponential moving average is right now. So as this thing rallies, like, let's see if this 3050 level and this 21 day EMA kind of meet up and let's see how the price reacts there. Um, if it rallies up to that 3050 level or it hits this 21 day EMA and then starts to sell off and make a move lower, I think it will come back down here and test around this 2560 level. Um, and then again, to the downside, if, you know, this thing falls through, uh, that 2560 level right there, I think it's coming all the way down, testing around 2250 or so. But I'll continue to keep you guys updated on these tickers. Please like this video. Please also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this. Talk to you soon.